I go to my OTM project manager login, enter my username and password, Upon login, I see the task board, and here I see that I've received a request for a quotation. Having a look at that, a customer is requesting a quotation for cost and a possible delivery date for a document that's attached. It's an existing customer, so I can use that mail directly to start the quote request. In the quote request form, I enter the uh, data for the project. Okay, he's looking for translation services from German to English. Okay, the request a deadline. He didn't request a deadline. He asked me for when I might be able to deliver. Uh, here down below under the special requirements field there's a copy of the original mail and then down below is the attachment and if I simply click the button for uploading the files and submitting the quote request the file from that attachment will be placed in the project files repository okay here on my task board now I see that I have a new project and I can look at the details of that project on the project switchboard. It shows me up at the top some information on the customer, the customer's credit limit, co contact information, address, and then down below the details for this specific quote request. Okay. Also from the drop-down menu for that project I see that I can access the email correspondence for the project, the file repository which contains the file that was submitted for quotation. I can also use the file repository to store any reference files or other information that I want for myself or also that, uh, to which I want to give the customer access. Okay, and at the moment uh, a number of the other options are uh, grayed out because we've only begun to look at this project. Okay, so the first thing I want to do then is to create a quotation for the customer for that project. Okay, and uh, all right, I look here, there's the information on the addressee. Okay, uh, the currency for the quotation is in euros. Alright, so I'm going to have a look at the line items for the quotation. I'm going to create a new item. Specify the languages for the project. It'll be a translation from German to English. And uh, here I can go ahead and put in the specific information on uh, costing, how much I'm going to charge them, and so forth. Um, I have not, however, had a look at the file yet. And so by clicking on the file name, I can download a copy of it. Here I open it up in Microsoft Word. And um, in order to prepare a quotation, I need to see how large the file is. Okay, and Microsoft Word allows me to do that. Okay, I've got, oh, it's a rather small one. Okay, uh, merely 101 words, 677 characters. Uh, it looks like this is going to be a minimum charge. Okay, so we'll close that. In that particular case, I'll be charging a flat rate. Okay, we'll mark that file for inclusion on the invoice and on the quotation. Okay, and this will be a flat rate 
of 50 euros for the translation. Click Save. And this particular line item for the quotation has now been created. Okay, uh, one thing I've forgotten, I am in Germany, this customer is also in Germany, and I'm going to mark VAT. Okay, and save that. Okay, so now here is the invoice calculated with VAT. Okay, if I want to add some particular conditions to the invoice, if I want to encourage early payment, for example, I might offer him a discount of, say, 3% for payment within five days of the receipt of the invoice. The full invoice amount is due net 30. Okay, I'll save that information as well. And then I will go ahead and generate the quotation. Okay, dear Mr. Ishka, you'll notice that the uh, customer's project settings are for the German language, so the uh, standard letter that will be sent to him is in German. Uh, this particular letter doesn't say anything about when I might deliver, so I can go ahead and add that information or any other information that I want to the letter. Okay, here I've told him that I would deliver the translation two days after being given approval for the project and I'm going to send him the quotation by email. The quotation will also include a copy of the standard terms and conditions. Okay, now the quotation has been sent and now I'm basically waiting for the order. Later I receive a fax from the customer confirming the order. So then I go to my list of quotations and I find the quotation that I sent him. Okay. Go to the information for that project and then I process the incoming order by clicking on receipt of order. Okay, and start the order phase. Okay, I go ahead and put in the information on when the project is due. Okay, I said two days after the order was received. And I will plan to deliver it that day at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Alright, and here is a standard letter in the customer's language confirming the order. Okay, down here, if I don't want to send him the order confirmation, I would uncheck that box, but I'm going to go ahead and send it to him. And I would go ahead and click Save. Okay, now that we have got the project approved, we need to create the job to be done by the translator. In this particular case, the project manager, that's me, is the translator. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this project to myself. Save those settings. Okay, now at this point everything's been done and I just have to go do the translation and when it's finished I would 
upload the translation in the area marked delivery files. Okay, here I see a copy of the file that's going to be translated, Einladung zum Herbstfest, Herbstfest 2012. Okay, and when I'm ready to deliver the file, I would click the upload button and put in a copy of my translation. Okay, now I'm ready to deliver the translation. It was a short file after all, so the customer is going to get it early and uh, hopefully be happy about that. So I'll click the upload button and then a dialogue comes up in which I can choose the file. Okay, there's the finished translation. Okay, here is our translation to deliver. Select the file and upload it. Okay, a small dialog appears reminding the uh, project manager to check the file and make sure that it's the proper, uh, proper format and so forth. Okay, the file upload has been successful, and now we'll send out the delivery notification, once again in German because that's the project language set for this customer. I can add any additional text that I want to um, to the letter, but in this case I'm simply going to send it as is, so I'll click send email. Okay, and it's now been set off. All right, and while I'm at it, I might as well send the invoice. Okay, and again, I'm going to have the email. I'm going to have the invoice delivered by email. I could also send it by postal mail, in which case I would have to print out a hard copy of it. Okay, but sending by email, I once again have a standard letter here, which I I'm able to adapt as I please. Okay, click create and send the invoice. Okay, now a notification of the del delivery has been sent and the project has been invoiced. All right, at this point, if I wanted to, I could simply conclude the project. I can request feedback from the customer which would be a testimonial or comments about the quality. Okay, and those notifications that I just sent out can be viewed under the customer email area. And here I have a complete record of all of the email correspondence, the request received, and then all of the outgoing mail. Okay. So I'm going to conclude the project. And if I want to have a look at the information for this project later, I can see it under the orders area. Okay, it doesn't appear here because I've completed it. And it will be listed under the link here for completed projects. There it is. Okay, and I can go into that project again and view any of the information for that project that I need to have a look at. Okay, that's it.